What's going on everyone? My name is Larry Snow and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Evernote Web Clipper. Probably the greatest thing since sliced bread. You think I'm kidding, but I'm actually being serious. And you'll soon find out what it can do for you coming up next. <laughs> Here's the point of all of this with the Evernote Web Clipper and why it's a fantastic tool. Because with all the minutiae and all the information that we get on a daily basis, if we're organizing our thoughts on a particular subject, if we're collecting information, if we're trying to organize uh, our invoices, if we're, if we're working on a particular project that's taking up all our time and resources and we need to get it all organized and we need to share it with other members on that project, this is where Web Clipper comes in. In order to use the Evernote Web Clipper, you actually do need to have an Evernote account. So go to evernote.com, sign up for a free account, and let's take a quick look at the plans that they have. They have basic, 60 megabytes. They have plus, which is $35 a year, which is the one that I use for one gigabyte of space. And then they top off at $70 a year for 10 gigabytes of space, with all of these lovely features. So once you get your Evernote account set up, then we can start looking at the Evernote Web Clipper. To get the Evernote Web Clipper, you gotta go over to the Chrome Web Store. And to get over to the Chrome Web Store, let me just click out of that for a second. You go over to this left-hand corner where it says Apps in the Chrome Store. And by the way, Evernote Web Clipper is available for Safari, Firefox, and I believe Android. So click on the show apps icon over here on the on your browser. It'll uh, open up this page and you click on web store. You click on that. And then you type in Evernote Web Clipper. Usually it's the top thing because it's so popular. All right, once you're on this page, you'll have an add to Chrome blue button. I already have the green button because I already have it installed. Click on the add to Chrome. It'll say, yes, you want to verify this, and you say yes, and then you'll have a little icon that looks like an elephant's head on your browser window. Not to be confused with the Evernote. If you already have Evernote, it'll be on your Mac or PC uh, window bar at the top, but not in the browser. All right, enough with the administrative stuff. Let's get to the fun stuff. So I'm over on my uh, YouTube channel, and I have a video up and look what it can do. I'll click on that little icon for the Evernote Web Clipper. A little pop-up window shows up and it automatically knows it's a YouTube video. It'll store the link. It'll store a, a uh, thumbnail image of your video and it will sh uh, give you the description with all of the links and it will give you all the comments. How cool is that, right? And then uh, you can connect it, since it's connected to your uh, Evernote account, you can organize it by notebooks. I'll type in YouTube and I'll click create new notebook. And I'll say create, oh, I'll enter name, sorry. I was searching for YouTube. <laughs> I'll type in YouTube, I'll click create. And now it'll be organized in my YouTube notebook inside Evernote. I'll click save and maybe we'll take a look at that a little bit later. The next feature it has, including the related notes, is the share option. I can share a note to a particular person that I've connected with or I can send it off to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all public. Or I can just share the URL to a particular person in an email, whatever, so and so they can view it just like that. So let me just go to another example. I'm over on my website now, and I have a blog open, and it knows it's an article, so it knows between YouTube and blogs. And I can have choices here. I can say article, which it'll just focus, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but there are two bars going down the side, kind of shadowed. And it says, this is what I'm going to capture for you. Is this what you want? Or you can do simplified article, which it'll take it out of that, put it behind its own background, and just take out all the other stuff. It'll take off the sidebars, the header, and all that stuff. Just make it nice and simple. Or I could do the entire blog page, including the sidebar and the navigation. Or I can just bookmark this URL. Or I can just take a screenshot 
And so I'm just going to do an article. So I'll just take the piece that I want and I can put that in my notebook and I'll just click save. Done. Simple as that. So I cannot say enough good things about Evernote Web Clipper. A, it's free. And so if you have an Evernote account that's free and you have Web Clipper that's free, what's better than that, right? So go check it out. Go to evernote.com and install the Chrome extension or whatever browser extension you want for the Evernote Web Clipper. Hey, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, be sure to click the subscribe button and give it a like. And be sure to share with your colleagues and friends. Check out LarrySnow.me for more great articles on social media, marketing, and web design. And I'll see you in the next video.